afternoon. Thanks for having me. And I guess I'd be remiss if I didn't wish you and Wilford both a, a happy birthday. Um, look, I, <laughs> Thanks a Apple lot. at this point is you're welcome. At, at this point is you know it's still speculative. You know, I, I guess as we point out in a note this morning, we do have several software companies that you know help optimize and deliver video content and count TikTok as customers. Those include Fastly and we think probably Akamai too. And, and they're clearly potentially impacted if, if the ban's enacted. You know, in the case of, you know, Apple, look, I mean, there's never a dull moment, as we know, with respect to U.S., you know, China relations. I think this is no different. You know, I think ultimately our hope is that, you know, cooler heads, you know, prevail here. But to the degree that China wants to respond, you know, Apple could be, you know, a potential logical target for them. Will, what, what would be the share price impact if China came out and said, we're considering banning all Apple products across all of China? Well, that's a that's a very good question, Wilfred. Look, I mean, I guess one way to you know step back and, and try to evaluate that is you know China accounts for Greater China accounts for close to 16 percent you know of of Apple's total revenue. So if you put that in context, that's not obviously not chump change, right? That's almost a we'll call it 40 billion dollar you know type of uh, you know annual number. So you know it, it would be meaningful. It'd be difficult to kind of speculate as to, you know, how big of an impact the stock it would be, but, you know, clearly would, would be meaningful. But but keep in mind, you know, Apple's also important to China, right? It contributes a lot to that economy. It employs a lot of people there. A lot of the iPhone assemblies, um, of course, still take place there. And so they've had a nice symbiotic relationship. And my mm. suspicion is that, you know, China would, would you know, want to evaluate that piece as well. I mean, we haven't seen China really make any sort of strong, forceful moves against U.S. companies, Will, but, but clearly there's a risk, as you've just laid out. Do you think it's in any of the share prices at this point? Do you think it's, it's weighed on multiples at all, this risk of China retaliation? I think it's had a pretty limited impact, limited impact, uh, you know, to date. Look, I mean, you look at Apple, you know, it's near its all-time highs, as are many of the big cap, uh, you know, tech stocks. Uh, you know, as you know, many of the others have, I guess, less, relatively less exposure uh, to China uh, than, you know, Apple does. But, you know, of course, Apple's right on the back of printing one of its most impressive quarters really in a long time, right, in the midst of a pandemic. You know, it grew in every geography and every product line, which speaks to the strength of their, you know, portfolio ecosystem, et cetera. So I, I think the market's become numb to this a little bit, given we've seen tit for tat and concerns with China for multiple years. Um, and, and so, you know, unless we actually see real action on the part of China that's, that's uh, you know, detrimental, then, you know, I, I think the stock will continue to hold in there.